the show. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest on the show today is no stranger. She's a friend of the house. She, you see her in 20 million homes across Africa. She's the most beautiful. I would say the fairest of them all, the baddest, the realest. No other person but Benny B. <laughs> Benny, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, dude. You watched me too, my friend. Like it's so great to be back here again. Yeah, yeah, it's been a very long time and really a lot has changed the last time you were here. Um, let me count. Okay. First you published the best selling book. I did. And then you started your own TV channel. I did. And then I hear marriage is somewhere around the corner. I'm getting married. <laughs> Life has been good to you, baby. Yes, yes it has. You know, as a Jesus baby, everything you work it together for my good. Mm. And God has been good to me. Now, excuse me, we are not in 20 million homes. Uh-huh. We're in over 70 million homes in Africa alone. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 What up, guys? How are you doing today? My name is Jason, and I'll be giving you all the latest entertainment news from across the country. First off, it turns out that a popular blogger and media mogul, Benny B, is now engaged. Yes, her boyfriend proposed over the weekend at a surprise birthday party organized by family and friends. Wow, this is totally awesome, especially because it comes just three days after she signed a mouth-watering deal with the content giant Netflix for her book titled Unbroken. Bonsoir, c'est l'actualité du divertissement avec Della Rose. Aujourd'hui dans notre émission, nous présentons la célèbre conférencière, motivatrice et producteur de télévision et écrivain Benny B. Elle nous parlera de son livre et de ses affaires. Merci. I we don't know all the details of this, but a little bit told us that Benny B will be earning a nine-figure payout from this unprecedented partnership with Netflix. Wow. Benny B, of course, is a name, and we'll be having her in the studio with us while she shares with us the inspiration behind the book Unbroken. Hello, Benny B. How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me. It's good to have you on the show today. All right, so quick question for you. What was the inspiration behind Unbroken and what was the process like writing the book and now that you have it in the market, how does it feel, the reception from the people? Like, I can't even believe that I'm saying that I'm an author and I have this incredible book called Unbroken. Um, Unbroken really is my story. Um, it's a story about hope, um, about not letting um, um, life's challenges bring you down. Uh, it's, it's, it's an incredible story. I feel like everybody should read it. And I'm not just saying that because I wrote it. Um, I, I can definitely tell you that sometimes I read the book and it makes me cry. And it's my story. How much more when I try to pass it on to other people. Uh, so it's, it's been a phenomenal success. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who supported me. Uh, thank you to people who are buying the book. And of course, thank you to God for, for putting the story in my hands and just letting me be able to tell it. I'm so honored to be here. Now, as we come, Mm-mm. come on, Benny, get it together. Now, as we count down the last days of 2018, I want you to walk into 2019 knowing that you are bold, you are brilliant, you are beautiful, you are made for greater purpose. God loves you, and there is no other woman like you. Right? So sometimes when life doesn't quite go your way and it seems a little gloomy, I want you to try and say these words that have helped me in my personal walk. I can. Now see, if you said it that way, then you failed it. Because you have to say it like you mean it. Say it with conviction. I can. Now that's what I'm talking about. I will. I must. Until I come back to you in the new year, it's Benny B. Bye. My phone hasn't stopped ringing since the news hit the web. Huh, it's really crazy. How do you cope with all this? <laughs> well, welcome to my crazy world, preacher man. 
That's what you get for falling in love with a media mogul. <laughs> oh, okay, I hope so. Um, it's our first New Year Eve as a couple. To, and we're not together. Hmm? Anyway, I have one more interview tomorrow morning and a charity event later in the evening. And after that, I'm all yours for the weekend. Miss you so much, babe. Mm, my love. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to have you in my arms. Oh, I miss you too, baby. Listen, I'll call you after I'm done with my morning run, okay? I love you so much. Mm? I love you too. Talk to you Good later. Night. I'm not doing it. I'll show you what you're supposed to Aya, what is it? Sorry to call so late, but I can't access the blog. Did you change the passwords? Is, is this some kind of a joke? No, it's not a prank. I don't know what's going on. I'm sending you a link now. There is someone on Twitter claiming to have your nude photos.
I, I don't know what's going on. But please get the IT guy to fix it now. this once and once it will be. You are going to deliver $25,000 to a location that will be sent to you shortly. Speak to anyone and that is the end. You do as I say. You will never hear from me again. You have six hours and the time starts now. Hello? Please, please, who are you? Why are you doing this? Hello? Report received in your vicinity. Take the sixth exit, 500 meters. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Take the seventh exit. In 400 meters, exit right. New report received in your vicinity. Take the fifth exit. New report received in your vicinity. At the roundabout, take the second exit. T Keep right. Exit left. In 1.5 kilometers, take the sixth exit. reached your destination.
Why? No. Turn it off. Why? Because I don't want people looking at me. You have not. It's indeed a sad day in the entertainment industry as our sources have now confirmed the death of the media mogul and blogger Benny B. Benny B's lifeless body was found beside an empty bottle of pesticide along with a suicide note. The police is currently taking out an investigation with the content of the suicide note closely guarded. Now even more disturbing is the fact that an explicit video is currently going around on social media showing Benny B in a sexual encounter with an unknown man. Now our sources inform us that this might have been a case of blackmail gone terribly wrong. Benny B was only 30 years old and she was an inspiration to a lot of people. We'll continue to give you all the details regarding her death as the police uncovers more regarding her suicide. Perhaps her suicide note will definitely give us an insight as to why she decided to take her own life. Until then, my name is Jason and stay tuned to WPTV for more stories.